y'all, it's your girl Paul Nicole. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm here with Babe and we're doing something a little different. We're doing a cooking video. She got me out here cooking. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, we're doing something a little different. If you're new here, my name is Paul Nicole and this is Babe. Um, I usually do vlogs every Sunday. This is gonna be a video that is gonna be dropping in the middle of the week sometime. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to get some type of cooking inspo, um, recipe ideas, something like that. In case you guys do not know, I recently got a new house, I got a new kitchen, babe got a new grill. Um, yep. So we're gonna be putting all of that to use in today's video. We're gonna be doing a entree, a dessert, and maybe an adult beverage. So on the menu today, um, we're gonna be grilling yeah, we're gonna grill some jerk chicken, huh? Mm -hmm. Jerk chicken, and we're gonna be using the Wild Tree Jamaican Jerk Seasoning. Um, in the previous vlog, I did show you guys this brand of seasoning. We have been using it on pretty much everything. They were so kind to send over a whole bunch of their seasoning, so we absolutely, genuinely do love it. So. We're gonna be trying this seasoning on our jerk chicken today. We're gonna to be also using, um, we're also gonna be um, cooking sweet potatoes. Um, what else? Brussels, Brussels sprouts. sprouts. And I'm gonna be doing my crock pot peach cobbler, y'all. So if you are interested in that, then stay tuned. If you like the content, what they need you to do? Subscribe. Subscribe. Like, comment. Like, comment, all of that. She gets all the comments. Yes, and we actually go through and engage with all of the comments. We be rolling, cracking up, all of that. So yeah. So yeah, let's get started, y'all. So I just went ahead and preheated the grill. It's the Rectech RT 700. Rectech.com. We're not sponsored or anything, but it's a really nice grill. You can control it with, through Wi-Fi through your, through your phone. So we'll go take a look at that. It's already the temperature, so we just really need to get this chicken out there. So what is this, fowl or breast? Breast? Chicken breast. So now we're about to start on the dessert. We're gonna be making the peach cobbler in a crock pot. This is the easiest peach cobbler you can make, y'all. It is literally peaches, cake mix, and butter. So this was literally spur of the moment for me. I looked in my pantry and I had two cans of peaches left. I had a stick of butter and I had a cake mix. My cake mix of choice is gonna be the butter pecan cake mix. Um, you can use any cake mix that you would like. 
I absolutely love using the butter pecan one. I've used vanilla. I've used white cake mix, but this is by far my favorite. So I'm just using the Betty Crocker Super Moist Butter Pecan Cake Mix. So I have my crock pot. I'm gonna put it on high and it's automatically defaults to four hours, but I'm just gonna be eyeballing it um, to see exactly how long it needs to stay on. Um, what you need to do is you put in your peaches, just like this, dump it in with the juice and everything. So I have two cans, depending on how many, um, how, um, peachy you like your peach cobbler. I would say you can use anywhere between two to four cans of peaches. And this is a 15 ounce can of peaches. I don't really like a lot of peaches in my peach cobbler, so I would say two is perfect for me. No more than three, I would say. And then we're gonna do the cake mix. Mix. And then just evenly pour the cake mix to cover. And now just make sure it's spread evenly. Okay. And then my stick of butter. Cut pieces of it. on the top all over just so it melts evenly over the top just like that and then we're literally just going to put the top on and let all of that melt down and we're just gonna eyeball it. Like I said, it's on four hours. Once all of that melts down and we see it gets like golden brown, then it's done. So can you bring me the rum chata and the root beer? I'm gonna make my favorite drink. This is what I have so far. I just have ice and some glasses. Root beer. Just a little root beer, and I have rum chata. So basically, this is rum. It is Caribbean rum with real dairy cream, y'all. It is so delicious. So what you must do is, I always suggest that you put the root beer in first because it has the carbonation. Uh, and it always, if you do the um, rum, the root beer after the rum chata, it makes this really nasty, foamy gunk. So you just pour the root beer. the food, okay, back to the food. So let me peel these, you wanna help me peel these? I already cut myself today. Bad luck to peel, peel it. <laughs> <laughs> y'all see how he did me out? I love you now. So he basically just the best, checking out. No, I'm right here, look. Ain't no football on or nothing. I'm gonna go open them Brussels sprouts. Okay, so the Brussels sprouts, those are basically really easy Brussels sprouts because you just steam those. So you steam those in the microwave. Okay, I'll peel these, not a problem.
so I just checked the peach cobbler and I just added some more butter because as you can see the butter has melted down but there's some of the cake batter that has not been touched as you can see see the white part right there so I just added another half a stick of um, butter so this is one cup of water Two teaspoons of butter. This is all of the brown sugar that I have. This is not even that much. Just so I can tell you exactly how much it is. This is a half a cup of brown sugar. Two more tablespoons of butter. Some ground cinnamon. Just sprinkle some in there and also some nutmeg. Put it in the pan and covered it with foil. Let that butter me melt in there. Okay. So this is what the chicken is looking like. Ooh, it looks good. So we covering it so the butter can melt in there. We're tasting the jerk chicken. And so every time we eat jerk chicken, like when, we're, when we were in Jamaica, it always tastes like so bomb, but there's always some kind of like sauce on it. We don't know if it's like barbecue sauce or like jerk sauce um, that's on the meat, the jerk chicken. But this seasoning is really good, but it's like missing the sauce that's on it. So we don't know like what it is. Like when we came from Jamaica, we bought sauces, but we don't have those sauces anymore. Um, so we're like, okay, we need some sauce that's on it. The seasoning is good, but it's still missing the sauce. So we're like, okay, we don't have the jerk sauce, of course, anymore. So we have teriyaki sauce and we have barbecue sauce. Um, we're gonna see which one tastes better with the chicken and the seasoning. So let me see. The first sauce I have is the Rectech Gourmet Barbecue Sauce. I really love this barbecue sauce, but it is like super runny. That's the only complaint I have about it. So I'm gonna try it with this. And then I also have a teriyaki sauce. This is the Wild Tree Teriyaki Sauce that they sent us. So I will be trying it with that. As of right now, I don't even remember what teriyaki sauce tastes like, so. This will be interesting. This is the barbecue sauce. Let's see. Mm. That's pretty good. Mm, let's see. Teriyaki sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Need another taste. I guess you should tell them that we wanted to use stuff we had at the house. We didn't want to go to the store. Yes. Because we could have went and got some jerk sauce. Yeah. I'm thinking I like the barbecue sauce better. <laughs> Teriyaki for me. He says teriyaki, I say barbecue, so. I guess we'll just have both for dinner. Now let's go ahead and make our Brussels sprouts. Babe, you got the Brussels sprouts? Just read the directions. All right, the Brussels sprouts are done. They cook for three minutes and 30 seconds. They're already been washed, trimmed, and ready to use. We gonna add seasoning or something? Hey, season. They look kinda, yeah, we're gonna season.
hair into this, what are you the most excited about eating? I'm gonna try these sweet potatoes. So it basically kind of turns into like a casserole uh, because the sweet potatoes softened and cooked for longer than I anticipated. But nonetheless, it's gonna taste bomb AF. It's not the first time that I made a sweet potato casserole. Um, the peach cobbler is still cooking, so we will come back and show you how that turned out. And you're not excited about the sweet potato cobbler? I mean, about the peach cobbler? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So yeah. How much longer on that? Um, probably about, I would say another hour on the um, peach cobbler. So we have our Brussels sprouts, we have our jerk chicken, and we have our sweet potatoes. Um, peach cobbler still cooking. We have another drink. We're about to go on the patio, enjoy the sunshine, and yeah, so. How are we going to get Dallas to eat the Brussels sprouts? That's a lot of Brussels sprouts. We're going to have to rob him, um, probably with Fortnite or something. But yeah, so let's go. Alrighty, so it has been later. We have finished dinner. As you can see, it's over there, what's left of our dinner. Okay, so the peach cobbler is done, guys. As you can see, this is how it looks. Everything has cooked down. As you can see, the juice has started to bubble up on the top over there. So here we go. You can see this is what it looks like. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Look at that. You can see like all of the crust, which is the cake batter, of course. So let's give it a taste. Mmm, yeah. That is so bomb. Mm. So good. Something that I want to add is the consistency of this is like a custard. So if you like chewy cookies or like really soft baked cookies, then you would literally just leave yours on the four hour mark. Um, another thing I want to add is you would like to take into consideration the kind of cake mix that you use. The kind that I use is the kind that has the pudding in it. So I'm thinking um, this four hour mark gave it this consistency. So if you like your crust more crusty, um, then cook it longer. I like mine more gooey, so four hours is perfect. I would use it as a reference of comparing it to soft bake gooey cookies or crunchy cookies. I hate crunchy cookies, so mm -mm. Or if you like your peach cobbler with like a flaky crust or a gooey crust, so I don't like flaky crust, I like gooey crust, so this is how I like my peach cobbler here, so four hours for me. So that's just something to take into consideration. You can cook this as long as you want in the crock pot, um, but I would say four hours would be the minimum um, if you're gonna be doing the pudding mix like I did. You always can just eyeball it, um, but definitely let all of the butter melt and you wanna see a golden brown color. So once you see that golden brown color, then you can start scooping into it to see um, if it's the consistency or the 
the crust consistency that you like. Okay guys, this is gonna wrap up today's video. If you are interested in purchasing any of Wall Tree's products, I do have a discount code that you can use to get 30% off of any of their products. In today's video, we used their jerk seasoning. Like I said, we have used so many of their products though. In the previous video, which I will link in the cards, we did a Taco Tuesday where we used several of their products. I think it was a taco seasoning, a garlic, galore maybe and a sea salt um, but I will have the discount code on the screen here and also in the description box where you can get 30% off of your entire order but if you did like the video make sure you give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing until next time guys bye